You could have lived anywhere in the world. Because of the virtues of the place. The vultures? No, not the vultures. <laughs> There's plenty of them. Yeah. The virtues. The virtues of the place. You know, there's a lot of things about it I don't like. But one of the things I do like about, about the, being a southerner is, is, is the, is the tale-telling ability uh, of most southern people and the jokes. I love southern jokes, don't you? Yes, I They have, they have a, a, a flavor to them that, that you just don't find anywhere else. I'll tell you what. Uh, there was this old boy that worked in uh, ball ground, Georgia. Ball ground, you know. Oh yeah. <clears throat> who loved clothes, and uh, he saved up all his money every year working in this filling station to go to Atlanta to Robert Hall's to buy a suit, you know, a new suit every year. So he went up there and he went to Robert Hall's and and uh, he he found this green suit that he really liked. It really looked good on him. So he put it on. He went back down to ball ground. And he's walking walking down the street in his suit, hoping somebody would notice him. So a friend of his came up and said, Jack, boy, that is some kind of good-looking stack of threads you got, boy. That really looks good. Brings out the color of them strange eyes. It really looks good. But the left sleeve is too long. I, I must tell you, the left sleeve is too long. So it goes back to Robert Hall and says, all right, look, you sold me this suit for $75. But the left sleeve is too damn long. He says, all right, well, don't worry about it. We don't have to offer it. It's too long. Why don't you take your, your hand and kind of shoot it out like that, and then nobody will notice the difference. It'll be all right. So it goes back down to, to uh, ball ground, and he's walking down the street with his arms like this. <laughs> and uh, and uh, another friend stops him in front of the drugstore and says, Jack, I like your suit. I think it's great. It really is. Everybody's talking about it. But the, the right sleeve is too short. So I says, oh my Lord, God Almighty, $75, my whole year's salary. The damn thing don't fit. I'm gonna get that damn, you know, get that suit altered. I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna come out right, cause the color's good. So he goes, he goes back up to Robert Hall's, all them bare racks and you no know, overhead and all that. And he says, look, the right sleeve uh, is too short. So what am I gonna do about it? He says, all right, well you just take that sleeve and you bring it in like that. You shoot this one out like that, you bring this one in like that. And it's gonna be all right. It's going as wear your suit, enjoy it, and everything. So he goes back down to ball ground. He's walking down the street. Another friend stops and says, look, that's a great suit, Jack. It really does look good. But the pants are too long. He goes back to Robert Holtz one last time. He says, all right, now what? You got this, you got it, the salesman says, you got it solved on this side. You got it solved on this side. What you do is you take this hand <laughs> and you pull up the pants like that and you hold this sleeve like this. <laughs> and nobody's gonna know that the damn thing is out of proportion. <laughs> so he's walking down on Sunday morning, walking down, down the main street. <laughs> Ball ground, and he meets a man and his wife, and they say hello, pass the time of day. And uh, after they get out of earshot, they say, uh, the, the uh, man's wife says, did you see poor Jack Simpson? You went to high school with him. Did you see poor Jack Simpson? He's staggering down the main street of ball ground, Georgia, all crippled up with arthritis like that. And the husband turns to us and says, yeah, but don't that suit fit him good? <laughs> I don't know whether the story is Southern, but the telling of it will do. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs>